My name's Sarah Jane Murphy and I'm an autism consultant for the education department. So I uh, first started working with Jewel when she was two and a half and she was with the Early Childhood Intervention Service, which was a very small, intense group that she was working in. And part of my role was to support her transition into a mainstream school. She commenced at Burnie Primary School in the kindergarten year and we always knew that it was going to be a slight challenge for her. And so when she commenced, it, we did that in a really graduated process. So she came in for small blocks of time until she was ready to transition into full days of kindergarten. Throughout that kindergarten year, things became increasingly more challenging for Jewel with outburst behaviours and finding it really difficult to regulate herself in a really busy environment. And we were re really fortunate that Jewel's family were very trusting of the professionals that were working with her. So that meant that they were really open to all the suggestions that we were making. And so we came up with quite a flexible arrangement initially whereby she would access some time here at Burnie Primary and some time um, at the um, support school. But then we moved to the selection of the teachers. We had Cathy Bester at SOS and we also had Dean O'Neill at Burnie Primary School. And they formed this magical partnership which engendered a fluidity to the transition for Jewel. So much so that each teacher visited Jewel in each setting and so the IEP goals were completely seamless and streamlined and were taken on board and put together by both teachers. We came to realise that her time at SOS we were seeing huge improvements in behaviour. She was being exposed to um, lots of great community access visits which were really giving her all the skills she needed to transition back to mainstream school. And the main thing was transitions, year to year transitions, month to month, week to week, day to day, right down to minute to minute transitions. So from one subject or one uh, class to the next, from recess into the classroom, from the classroom out to lunch, and at the end of the day transitioning home again. The key factors included some really important points, uh, relationships, it was building relationships between Jewel and staff and students, Jewel's parents, um, any of the people that were working with Jewel, um, and we needed to build that trust. Um, there was then became a collective ownership of Jewel and Jewel felt she could trust all of us, whether it was another student, whether it was staff, and the parents trusted us as well. So that collective ownership of Jewel was really important. It was always about coming back to um, Bernie Primary but giving her the skills she needed to be successful here. And so my role became one of uh, facilitating professional learning for the staff here at Bernie Primary School to make sure I was building capacity. And it became a, a, a very school-based approach. So much in so that at the professional learning opportunities, we had the groundsmen attending, we had cleaners, we had the office staff. Everyone at school was involved to make sure that everyone had an understanding about what ASD was, the implications for that, and how we could best support Jewel and being prepared for when she transitioned back. Yeah, all my friends are going to be at Bernie High. <laughs>